RS modules are pre-marked at the plant before shipping with information that will assist the field crews during the handling, assembly, and framing stages of the pole installation. Every module has four primary axes, spaced at 90 degrees apart around the circumference of the pole. They are marked as the A, B, C, and D axes. The B axis is the easiest to identify since it has the most printed information. The weight and individual serial number of each module, the RS Technologies company name, and the country of production are all printed along the B axis. A dotted line runs along the length of the module in between the printed information. All RS modules will have an embossed mill finish aluminum tag with that module's size and unique serial number. The base module will also have an embossed black aluminum pole identification tag, or pole ID tag, installed along the B axis. It contains important information including the RS contact details, date of pole manufacturer, strength or class and module configuration of the pole, pole weight, and the distance the tag is installed from the bottom of the pole. Additional information can be added to the pole ID tag upon request. Between the A, B, C, and D primary 90 degree axes, there are also short dash markings around the base and tip of each module, designating 45 degree secondary axes, labeled as the E, F, G, and H axes. These axes will assist when hardware installation is offset and not at a right angle to one another. A chalk line is required to clearly mark the full length of these secondary axes along the length of the module. Every module is also marked with a center of gravity line. It is labeled along the B axis with a dotted line that goes around the circumference of the module. This will assist to identify the balance point of the module for sling attachment when moving modules with a boom truck. It is important to note that the center of gravity line is for each individual module and not for a nested pole set or for a fully assembled pole. If the top module of a pole has been cut, the marked COG line will no longer be accurate. Pre-drilled jacking holes are located along the A and C axes and are to be used during slip joint assembly. There is a target assembly line printed around the circumference of the pole. During the assembly of a slip joint, once 4,000 pounds of assembly force is applied to each side using two two-ton lever chain hoists, the base of the upper module will reach within plus or minus one inch or 25 millimeters of the target assembly line 95% of the time. It's important to note that the line is just a target. The most important criteria for successful assembly is that 4,000 pounds of assembly force is applied on each side of the pole using two two-ton lever chain hoists. Be sure to reference the RS Assembly and Installation Guide work instruction for more information.